Hello everybody, good afternoon, good afternoon, good morning and good evening depending on your geographical location wherever you are seeing this video from. It's me Tracy Dele, your sister, your only funny sister. Today I want to be preparing pasta, pasta precisely in Italian way. So firstly, here is my pasta and um, I have my water already boiling as you can see it so what do i do now i have to add salt to the water you make sure that your water boils before you add your pasta so now i'm adding the pasta straight then after adding the pasta now you don't need to cover it again because if you cover the whole thing will just boil off you can cover it halfway like this if you want so you leave the pasta to boil next i will have to show you now is uh here is uh one of the interesting vegetable they call it zucchini so this is zucchini is in the form of concuba but it's not concuba so um this zucchini you are seeing here i have the uh paste part of it how did I prepare this paste? I boil I boil this zucchini, then I just pre-boil it for like three minutes. Then I now blended it. That is how I get this paste. So I'll set this aside. Then now I have my chopped onions, and I'll have to chop this other one. I will chop this now. I'm going to you cut the head off, and you have to slice. As you see, I have already sliced it. Then here, beside, I have my habaneros pepper. That is my atarudo. So I will have to slice this also now. So combination onions, zucchini, and pepper. All right. Talking about the hot pepper, this is totally optional. Talking about the habaneros pepper, that is the scotch bonnet pepper, is totally optional. If you don't eat pepper, you can skip this. If you don't like adding pepper to yours. So here I have my zucchini, my hot pepper, onions. And here I have the blended zucchini. In this blended one, this one I prepared as the paste, I added some scent leaf to it. That is some basil leaf. Mm? So let's check on our pasta now. Yes, the pasta is doing well. <laughs> so we give it a stir. I love using my spatula, wooden spatula, so I just give it a stir. So it's still boiling. Beside it, I have a uh, sliced uh, beef. You know, I am not that good in eating beef, but I just eat beef once a while. So here I have my sliced, uh, sliced beef, cow beef, um, um, meat. Eh? So here, in here, you just have to put the heat on the lower as you can see it's very low um, then here is i have my minced pepper this is minced pepper i'll be adding minced pepper to it is minced pepper so you can see let's see let's see if we can read it minced oh my god minced pepper is done uh -huh. as you can see after adding the pepper the minced pepper uh, that is all English pepper anyway. Um, here I just have to add my cut onions like this, as you see. Mm. The next I'll be adding pinch of salt, pinch of salt, pinch of salt, and and also I will be adding um, grounded uh, seasoning. Just as you see, then I will just turn it side by side. As you see, just take one side of it like this, turn it upside down, take the other one like this. You know, if you want to get this kind of cut, you can just ask, you see the way they cut a uh, suya? Yes, you tell them, cut it for me the way you cut suya. Then you can get this flat, flat cutting. 
of your beef if you want to make it get it this way so we leave we leave it to continue cooking let's check on our pasta again let's check on our pasta let me taste check if it's soft enough for me to mm -hmm. okay the pasta is okay now you can remove the pasta let's sieve it you see so you just sieve the pasta and you set it aside and then um, you just have to preserve little out of this water because i will be needing it so here's the pasta next here's my olive oil so i will have to first first add little from the if when you are eating direct food it's advisable you use your olive oil so now i just added the olive oil to the stick meat i'm preparing it in form of stick meat then you give it a stir also turn it like this turn it again just like that then you leave it next here is our pan for the pasta just add also from the olive oil when you are eating direct it's, it's advisable you use your olive oil if you don't have olive oil almond oil is also good now we turn back to the stick meat here i have my lemon cut off my lemon just have to excuse just little from the lemon juice as you see just little lemon juice if you if i cut my lemon and i don't find the seed in there i will say this kind of lemon say so will not get seed so that is it next we turn to this so we are going to add both the onions uh pepper and the zucchini cut into the oil now as you see now i have this little pepper left i want to add this pepper to the uh, stick meat the stick my stick so i just added it so just spread the pepper around the meat to continue turning the meat from one side to the other bring the heat to the very least that is how you prepare your stick meat at home then we leave this to continue cooking so this has cooked for like one minute now so here i have my blended crayfish just very little i will be adding it this one also is optional then after the crayfish i want to be adding the zucchini paste that i prepared This is combination of zucchini paste, zucchini and the scent leaf. That is um, basil leaf. I blended, I pre-boiled the zucchini, then I blended it. So just there. Now, here is where the it comes in, where I will make use of the water. The one I, I, I extracted from the pasta. So I use it to rinse this, the one I rinse the container. For the paste then also if it's not if it depends how you want it to be uh, how you want the technique to be okay for you you can be adding this water bit by bit if you want it that thick or you want it very light you add the water bit by bit you remember that water we have salt already in it so so i would i wouldn't want it to be that thick anyway to be so light then you leave it to continue cooking as you see it has cooked for like 30 seconds and then um, i have to just stir and taste it if it's sorting enough if i need to add salt or not mm -hmm. okay is enough i won't be adding any salt only thing i want to be adding i just little just little of the seasoning just little like this because that salt is enough then 
give it a stir then i'll just add my pasta straight away then after adding then you stir just give it a stir as you can see our pasta is ready pasta is zucchini paste in basi paste in zucchini basi paste as you can see it looks so yummy so you can follow up and prepare yours so now we come to this pasta is ready in a hundred percent okay guys lastly i have my suya pepper i just want to use it to spice up this my stick meat is optional also as you can see the stick meat is ready you just have to add the suya pepper to the face it's optional if you like so my people that is all about my cooking for today time to serve the lunch as you can see did you see the the juice is not that thick but so serving my pasta and also beside i have my stick meat already prepared on top you can see my suya pepper as i use it to garnish it so my people come and join me and eat all right my people here is the end of our video today that is the end of our video um i have my pasta in the zucchini and the um, scent leaf paste you blend it together and here i have my sliced beef meat prepared it well fully follow up the video you will see so time for lunch come and join me quickly i add my water mm -hmm. with this delicious meal you need just a glass of wine for to dilute it mm? not that much just small <laughs> so my people come and join me time for lunch I love you all. Bye-bye.